What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about what this switch is used for. This is the forced regen initiate switch and it only works if this warning light here is on or flashing. That is your DPF warning light. So if that light is not on, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you press this, how long you hold it for, it will not initiate a forced regen. The only way to initiate a forced regen without that light on is to do it with computer software or a scan tool that is capable of initiating a forced regeneration. But anyway, so we talked about the DPF light. When it's solid, that means it is approaching full capacity and that the vehicle has not been able to automatically regen while driving, which can sometimes happen. Sometimes it's rare, other times it can be more common, especially on older vehicles in which uh, there may be a lot of ash content in the DPF and so therefore it fills up rather quickly because the DPF actually needs to be cleaned out to remove those ash particles. There could be other reasons why your vehicle does a regen frequently or um, you have a DPF light coming on all the time. Like for instance, uh, fouled up EGR cooler, that'll do it. Um, another one is a bad DOC, because without a DOC, the DPF fills up quickly. But anyway, if that light's flashing, it means you have reached full capacity and that parking and initiating a forced regeneration is your only option at that point. If your DPF light is solid, you can either initiate a forced regen or you can drive at highway speeds for at least 20 minutes in hopes that it will do the regen and usually it does it unless you come to a stop. If you do come to a stop, that DPF light is going to come right back on and you'll be back to square one. Unless, of course, the problem gets worse and the lights start flashing. Or, yeah, the lights start, or, excuse me, the light starts to flash. But anyway, after that, you might have a check engine light. If that comes on after your DPF light starts to flash, that means your DPF filter has started to exceed system limits. Whereas if the stop engine light is accompanying those lights, it means it has exceeded system limits and you have to call for service, which is never fun. So basically you have the option of doing your forced regen or taking it to a workshop and having them do a forced regen with a computer. Otherwise, you have to call for service. You might have to be towed because uh, if your stop engine light's on, it's likely that this is not going to do anything for you. So the goal is to be able to do the forced regen when it's safe before that becomes a problem. So what you need to do is you need to park where it's safe, set the parking brake, put the transmission in neutral, Make sure your feet are off the pedals. And then you push this switch. And you hold it for about five seconds. There is a pilot light here that will light up when regen is active. And then the DPF light will go out and the hot exhaust light will turn on. That's this light right here. The hot exhaust light just means that the system is undergoing a regeneration and that it should not be interrupted. It's also a warning to stay away from the exhaust as temperatures can reach over 660 degrees, which is extremely hot. If you need to cancel the regen at any time, all you have to do is push on the brake pedal. It is highly recommended that you do not shut off the engine during a forced regeneration. You want to stop that first because your engine is going to be ramped up, it's always best to shut it off at low idle. And one last thing I'll mention is if you're trying to do a regen and the switch does not initiate the regen, you want to double check and make sure you got your parking brake on, you got your transmission in neutral, 
You also want to make sure that you have your cruise control and fast idle switched off. You also want to make sure that your blower is switched off. And if you have any auxiliary AC or heaters, you want to switch those off as well. So chances are if that switch is not initiating the regen and your DPF light is on, that would be why. You want to check all that stuff first. If you do it with the computer or a scan tool, it'll do it anyway, regardless. So you can run your heaters, AC, whatever, and do a forced regen with the computer. But with the switch, all that stuff has to be off. Have a nice day. I sure hope this helps.